So the bones came pretty clean from the beach. Not many couples have this on their front porch. So this is the forearm, the fore flipper from, from Gunther. And how it got here is a whale of a tail. Gunther is a 40-foot gray whale that died, then washed up on a beach a few miles from Dr. Stephanie Warwag and Mario Rivera's Port Hadlock home in June of 2019. And we were looking for somewhere to take the whale, and uh, nobody would take it. The state parks wouldn't take it. So Stephanie and I just looked at each other and said, let's take it to our beach. And that's how we got started. A research team towed the whale to their beach, and Warwag, a veterinarian, helped with a necropsy the next day. The whale died of starvation, part of a mass die-off of gray whales that happened that year. Then they let nature take its course. I, I have pictures with like hundreds of maggots on, on the whale eating away. They did an awesome job. When tides and scavengers began to scatter the bones, the couple got a permit to keep them from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. We officially own Gunther. And we also, we're gonna use it for educational pur purposes with the Marine Science Center in Port Townsend. Only in the Pacific Northwest could you find people willing to welcome a whale carcass to their waterfront property, and then stow all of its bones in their garage. Every part has, has so many amazing experiences. I mean, just seeing the decomposition, then collecting the bones, then trying to put it together. And Gunther has been adopted by the whole community. Local students helped move his 500-pound skull with a rowboat and some muscle. Retired shipwrights Les Schnick and Rick Brendan are now reassembling that skull in their Port Townsend shop. Everybody wants to know about the whale project, you know. It's been a lot of show and tell since it's been in my shop. <laughs> and the beautiful bones of this beast, this is the blowhole, by the way, are already doing their job. Yeah, I've learned a lot about whales that I never knew before. So that's, that's where the eye lives, in here. The goal? To rebuild the entire skeleton, all 157 bones. That worked out pretty good. Gunther's final resting place? Right Our down there. Backyard. An unlikely spot for a whale skeleton, but a place of honor where Gunther will have a second life, teaching others about the whales that still live in these waters. It's beautiful, it's gonna be beautiful. Yeah, I'm privileged that we were able to do it. Yeah. Thank you, Jim.